we're not the new neighbor in Stardew Valley anymore. Have you ever noticed this tree in Cindersap Forest? Well, there's a secret hidden in this tree and you'll get to uncover after receiving an event in the middle of the night. After completing the greenhouse, there is a 10% chance each night that a windstorm will happen. After receiving the notification that a windstorm happened, the large tree will become a giant stump with a question mark above it. Interacting with the stump will start a quest to unlock a new neighbor. You will need 100 hardwood to fix the tree stump and after completing it, a cute little house will be built in its place. The next day, a curious raccoon will have moved in. When you talk to Mr. Raccoon, he will ask you for items in return for a reward. Um, who's he calling Bobo? If you talk to him again after finishing his request, he will tell you that he hopes to find a wife. Every week, your raccoon neighbor will make new requests, but only after the current request is done. A week later, you are introduced to his new wife. Mrs. Raccoon will have a shop you can trade items for and will grow based on items Mr. Raccoon has given you. For the second request, you will be rewarded with a raccoon journal. The raccoon journal will give you a greater chance at finding mixed seeds when cutting weeds. Reading this book multiple times also gives you foraging XP. If you talk to him again after finishing his request, he will tell you that they are now going to work on building a family. A week after completing quest number two, you'll see that our raccoon neighbors welcome home a baby. After completing Mr. Raccoon's next request, you will be rewarded with a raccoon hat. I love this hat so much, I feel like such a Cub Scout. A week after completing quest number 3, you'll notice that our raccoon neighbor's family has expanded again. After completing Mr. Raccoon's next request, you will be rewarded with Fairy Dust. If you are unfamiliar with Fairy Dust, you can use it on kegs, furnaces, or other machines to receive the finished product instantly. A week after completing quest number 4, the Raccoon family has grown from a family of 2 to a family of 5. Just look at the happy family. After completing Mr. Raccoon's next request, you will be rewarded with a jungle tank. This tank is much like your standard aquarium, letting you place certain items and critters inside for display. A week after completing quest number 5, the Raccoon family welcomes home another baby to their bunch. After completing Mr. Raccoon's next request, you will be rewarded with one of six possible rewards. I was rewarded with summer squash seeds this time. Every quest from here on out will have random rewards from a list of items. A week after completing quest number six, you can spot a new sibling in the Raccoon family. The Raccoon family is growing so fast. After completing Mr. Raccoon's next request, I was rewarded with 5 mystery boxes. Looks like Mrs. Raccoon Shop is growing too! A week after completing quest number 7, there are now 6 adorable baby raccoons in the raccoon family. Seeing all these adorable faces warms my heart. After completing Mr. Raccoon's next request, I was rewarded with a book of stars. This power book will give you 250 XP in all skills. If you're wondering what happens if you read the book of stars and have already maxed out all your skills, then those XP points will transfer over to mastery points. 
And last but not least, upon returning to the raccoon family after completing quest number 8, you will earn the good neighbors achievement and get to visit this adorable raccoon family anytime you're in Cindersap Forest. You can continue to complete Mr. Raccoon's request and keep earning rewards. Mrs. Raccoon's shop will also stay open where you can trade items daily. Subscribe for more Stardew Valley content if you enjoyed this video.